said, there's a little light at the end of the tunnel for a broken down Taranaki Railway. The track from Stratford East to the main trunk line near Tomarunu is already out of action. It's a serious derailment. Kiwi Rail's about to decide the line's future, but its customers are having a difficult time to change them. Craig Ashworth reports. Began in 1901. Maxwell says multiple transport links are vital to overcome Taranaki's isolation and the line also offers an alternative route when the main trunk line is out of action between Martin and Tomaranui. Taranaki, Roy Weaver, says even if Kiwi Rail struggles to justify big spending on the line, it should remain in public ownership. I can understand that for one train a day, you can't spend the amount of money that uh, is required on that route. Certainly I wouldn't like to see the corridor lost, because at some stage New Zealand will have 10 or 20 million people living in it, and uh, that rail corridor will be no doubt uh, very well used. The Rail Maritime Transport Union says it looks likely the line will close. Union organiser Todd Bolster says mothballed lines are hard to reinstate as vandalism, theft and decay take their toll. We're very concerned about a knee-jerk reaction now that could be regretted in the future. Um, you know, many bridges, many tunnels um, to mothball it and then expect to use it um, again may end up costing a hell of a lot more. Well, it would cost more than maintaining it in the first place. Todd Bolster says the union has started a petition to the Transport Minister to save the Stratford to Okahukura line, and the region's mayors have also written to the minister. Submissions have now closed, and Kiwi Rail says an announcement on its future depends on how straightforward the decision is. In New Plymouth for Morning Report, Craig Ashworth.